Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, first of all, I wanna apologize. I think I forgot to make an event for this week, um, but I'm here for a regular two o'clock Saturday live. Uh, hopefully a couple of you are on and can hop on, but I will continue doing these Saturday lives even when I forget to do to make an event. So I'm here um, and this week's um, topic is something that I'm super passionate about. I might say that a lot, but seriously, this week, this has literally changed my life um, in such a positive way. And so I'm excited to share this with you guys today. Um, so if you don't know what a morning routine is, that's what we're going to talk about today. Actually, we're going to talk about routines in general, but I want to really highlight the morning routine because it can be so transformational. So let's just start by talking about why routines are important. First of all, routines train your brain. Um, our brains work well when they have a routine and they have a habit. Um, so it trains your brain to think this way and it really trains it to think positively. Um, and in doing this, it creates good habits. So when you're doing these things every day, um, it will create good, healthy habits in your life. This, I think, is really the key to taking care of yourself because in order to take care of yourself, you have to do things every day, right? It's not going to happen um, if you do something once a day. Like if you, if you exercise one time a month, like that's not really going to do anything for your health, honestly. Um, so the fact that you're um, with a routine, you're doing it every single day, that is when you truly begin to take care of yourself. Um, so this consistency is so important. Um, and the thing to remember is that little things over time make a huge impact. They don't seem like it at the time. It seems insignificant day to day, but over time it builds and it builds a little more and it makes a huge impact. Um, so a few things the routines can create. Um, first of all, positive feelings. It just, it makes you feel good. Um, the things in your routine should be things that make you happy and feel positive and feel good. It also creates a positive mindset. So, um, you know, that is, that's part of the routine is creating that mindset, um, just that positivity in your life and in your mind. So this is something I want you guys to remember. You might be thinking like, why is she talking about morning routines? Uh, this group is for self-love. Like, what does this have to do with self-love? But it has everything to do with self-love. This is how you're going to develop self-love. So let me explain this. Happiness plus feeling good equals self-love. The things that you do every day in your routine add up and create self-love. Um, like I said, these little things, they don't seem like they make a difference, but they do. Um, happiness and self-love do not happen overnight. As much as we wish they could, they don't. They take time and consistency and effort and over time, you will find that self-love if you do these things over and over and over. So how do you decide what to include in your routine? Here's some things you can ask yourself. What makes you happy? It doesn't have to be big. It can be just a little, it can take a minute, really. Um, so what makes you happy? What puts you in a good mood? And another thing to consider is how can I grow? One of the things that I have incorporated into my routine is personal development. So every day I read 10 to 15 minutes of a personal development book. It's just 10 minutes of my day. But over the past couple of years, I've seen so much growth. And that's what 10 minutes a day can do for you. Um, so ask yourself, how can I grow? Um, something else is create a list of things you have to do 
and then decide um, what you want to add to create more happiness and positivity and health into your life. And I'm going to give some more, some examples in a minute here. So, um, but let's talk about the morning routine first. Um, this, with this, I want you to ask, how do you want to start your day? This sets the tone for your whole day. So what you do in the morning um, decides, like, are you going to have a positive day or are you going to drag through your day? Um, this can really help you grow too. So some examples of what you can use in your morning routine. These are just examples, um, but you do what makes you happy and what fits with your lifestyle. So just some examples, um, listen to your favorite song or an empowering song, do some gratitude, exercise, personal development, like I was talking about, reading for 10 minutes from a book that um, will really help you grow and develop as a person. Um, just reading a book, if you love reading, um, read a little bit of a fun book. Um, and then prayer or, you know, whatever your religion is, doing some kind of something that will help you grow and create positivity, ultimately. Um, so I want to give you an example um, of my morning routine. So it's not like elaborate, it just makes me happy creates consistency. So my must do's, these are things that I have to do. And these are kind of like, duh, but if I didn't do them, then I wouldn't set myself up for a very good day. Um, so my must do's in the morning are brush my teeth, brush my hair, feed myself and feed my dogs. And that's it. That's what I have to do in the morning. What I choose to add is gratitude to start my day with positivity and gratefulness, um, personal development, like I talked about, and then exercise. Um, I found that exercise just gives me energy for the day and motivation to do the things that I need to do. So you see my, my morning routine isn't very extravagant. There's not a lot to it, honestly, um, but it has created so much growth in me and so much more positivity in my life. Um, and one of the things that I've really seen grow is my mindset. Such a positive mindset um, to, you know, just create more positivity and happiness throughout my day. So another part of your routine is your nighttime routine. Nighttime routines are just as important as morning routines. Hear me say this. Um, morning routines are so important, but so are nighttime routines because this decides how you will start your next day ultimately because if you end your night well, you'll start your morning well. So um, nighttime is a time to just de-stress and rest. This is a time to find things that calm you down at the end of the day. So some examples, again, they're just examples. You have to find what works for you. But um, some examples, no technology an hour before bed, at least. Uh, this is something that everyone should implement, honestly. Um, this is such a good rule because it, the technology stimulates our mind. And without it, it gives us a chance to kind of calm down from the day. So you can replace it with reading, stretching, really any kind of self-care. Uh, this is a great time to do that. Um, again, with prayer or any type of religious activity, um, for me, one of the keys to my nighttime routine is washing my face, brushing my teeth, simple things that keep me healthy. That is self-care, you guys. We may not know it all the time, these little things that we do. Um, we don't even think about it, right? Like, I don't think about the fact that I wash my face every night, but... That's part of my nighttime routine. So finding things like that to um, end your night in a good way and taking your care of yourself. Um, so I hope you guys can see how important routines are and how transformational they can be in your life because they really can be. Um, I just, 
I hope you guys find this as a way to create that positivity and happiness because ultimately that's where you will find self-love. Um, as always, if you guys need more support, I know I say this every week, but reach out. Um, I would love to hop on a call and see, um, you know, like where I can help you and where, um, where we can work together. So if, if you need that extra support, please do not hesitate to reach out and I would love to help you out with that. Um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday and I will talk to you soon.